Welcome to Pranked Team Postpartum TV. Today we're doing a full body HIIT workout. I am gonna use optional five pound dumbbells, but you can also just grab water bottles, cans of beans, or do the move without weights at all. If you're following along to the challenge, this is day five. I'm gonna to link to all the details in the description box below. I will keep making pregnancy workouts, yoga, and Pilates every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, subscribe and hit the notification bell. We can start with a warm up and then we will set the timer for the hip workout. Let's bring our feet a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. We can bend our knees. Let's start with some easy hip circles. Switching directions. Good. And we're going to mobilize our back. Let's bend our knees and we can go forward and then press leaning on our back, roll up and continue that motion. Exhale as you round up. Last one. Good. Let's take some arm circles. Switching directions. Taking your feet wider apart. Let's bend down and then we come up. Nice stretch, side stretch. Reaching up and over. Good. Let's do some hamstring curls. Good. We can turn to the side here. If you're having trouble with your balance, you can hold on to something. We're going to bring one leg back and bring our knee up, swinging it back and forth. Just easy movement. Exhale as you bring your knee up. Good, let's switch to the other side. Good, you can go ahead and grab your weights or water bottles now. I'm gonna set the timer for 40 seconds of movement and we'll have a 20 second setup. Let's bring our feet wide apart. We're gonna sumo squat and then lift laterally to the side. Strong leg, keeping your back lifted. Squat, raise to the side. Keeping your core pulled in, baby pulled into your spine. turn to the side now we'll set up for static lunges and a hammer curl so we're going to lunge down curl palms facing in roll your shoulders down your back roll your belly in good upper arm very stable
the other side. Shake it out. We're gonna engage our core, lift opposite knee. You can bring your weights up and keep them at your shoulders, or if it feels safe for you, you can alternate lifting them. Spreading your toes, go. Exhale as you lift. Last one, good. Let's take our feet wide apart, toes facing forward. We're gonna do lateral lunges. We can keep our weight at our chest here. We can keep our feet planted. Shooting your hips back, chest stays high. We can step in. We're gonna do single leg rows here. Finding your balance on one foot, slight bend in your knee. You can either keep your back toe down or lift it off for an extra challenge. Pulling your baby in, bringing the weight to the bottoms of your ribs. Setting up, go. Feeling your scapula move together as you bring the weights up. Using your back muscles. Roll out that ankle, we'll switch to the other side. Pulling your core in, making sure you don't have a curve through your lower back.
we're gonna move into alternating curtsy lunge. At the same time, you take one hand up, tricep press, and then we'll switch back and forth, setting up. Lunge. You bring your feet hip width distance apart. We'll move into deadlifts here. Give you lots of length throughout your back. You bend your knees slightly. And then we're going to lower our weight down. Use your hamstrings and your glutes to pull yourself back up. We can plant our feet here, slight bend in your knee. Let's bring our weights up in front of us. We're gonna open to the side, bring them back in. Take a breath, pull your baby into your spine, go. Moving with control. your arms level as they move in and out. Last one. Good, lower down. Good job. Let's have a sip of water and then we can grab our weights again. Grab our weights again. Bring our weights up to our shoulders. We're gonna squat down, and you can either keep your hands here or alternating press. We can find our weight on one foot, hinge at the hips. We're gonna lift our leg laterally and reverse fly out to the side, keeping your core pulled in. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
on the other foot, re-engaging your core, and go, with control, lunge and then we're going to cross our lunge over as we externally rotate our arms out moving it back and forth engaging your core lunging back curl forward cross over curling out Great. Do that on the other side. do some oblique work here standing tall inhale over exhale coming back up shoulders rolled back and down inhale exhale pull yourself back up inhale good We're going to come down on the ground. Now we can place our weight down on the ground. We're going to set up for tricep dips. So coming onto your bum, you can place your hands behind you. Rolling your shoulders down. Go. Squeezing your glutes.
come on down. I'm actually gonna grab one weight, not for this move, but for the next move, we're gonna be lying down. Let's set up in a side plank. Pressing your forearm into the ground. Engage your obliques. Exhale as elbow comes to knee, pulling in your baby. We can lower it down to the ground. We're going to do some inner thigh pulses here so we can cross our top leg over, extend our bottom leg, and for an extra challenge, you can take your weight and place it on your bottom leg. We're going to lift up, pulsing here. Good. Lifting through your side body so you're not collapsed on the ground. Ten more seconds. Tiny fast pulses. Good. Release down. We can find our plank on the other side, or you can roll over. Keeping lifted through your side body here. Exhale as you bring your knee and elbow together. pulses. You don't have to use a weight, but if you wanted a little bit of extra resistance, engaging your core, lining up your body, lift, pulse. Release down. Awesome job. We're done the hip portion. We can come on up, stretch, and cool it out. Let's come to a wide legged stance here. Doesn't matter how far it is, it shouldn't feel painful. Flex your feet, sit up tall. You can stretch to one side, up and over. Deep breath. Exhale, coming up, switching to the other side. Moving back and forth one more time. Exhale, coming up, 
Let's bring our feet together. We're gonna windshield our knees, moving back and forth. Last one, good. And we can bring our feet together for butterfly, sitting tall. And you can stay sitting tall here or lean forward. Deep breaths into your back body and back ribs. Shoulders stay relaxed. Good, come on up. Let's come to our knees. Taking one foot forward for a lunge. Shift our weight forward. Tuck your pelvis under for a deeper stretch. If this is a deep enough stretch for you, you can stay here or you can bend your back knee, stretching out through your quad. When you're ready, you can release that leg. Let's shift our weight back, flex our front foot, and gentle forward bend. Lots of length in your spine here. Let's point and flex our front foot. Inhale, coming up, switching to the other leg. When you're ready, shifting your weight forward. Engaging your core, pulling your baby in. Releasing through your hips. If you wanted to bend your back foot, for an extra quad stretch, you can. Releasing your foot if you have your back foot up and then we'll press back into our half split position. Gently stretching out through your hamstring, making sure you're not stretching too far during pregnancy. Flex and point that front foot. Inhale, coming up, we'll bring that leg back in. Let's move in to puppy pose. We can walk our hands forward, keeping our hips high, lowering your forehead down to the ground. This is a great position to get baby in a good position. Stretching out through your chest, breathe here. When you're ready, walking your hands in, let's take a couple cat and cow, pressing out, ballooning through your back. Imagine something sitting on your back and you're trying to press that up. Inhale, keeping your baby pulled in, gently look up. Starting with your pelvis, tucking your tailbone, rounding all the way out. Look up. Let's come to a neutral spine and take some gentle hip circles. This should feel really good.
going the other way. Good, we can make our way back to a seated position. You did amazing. That was definitely not an easy workout. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're doing the challenge, awesome job on completing day five. If you want to find out about the challenge, I'm going to link to that in the description box below. I will keep making pregnancy workouts, yoga, Pilates every week to support me and to get notified, subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up. I will also link to my free resources for pregnancy in the description box below. I have a meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian, as well as an ebook on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor and a complete guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for birth and the fastest recovery after. Thank you.